Another eventful evening last night with storms and it seems like we're either getting zero rain or just buckets at a time which doesn't exactly go so well on some of these areas that I needed to seed and not have wash out. So today I'm going to show you some of the updates on that. Touch on a couple other questions from previous videos and updates on those things. See what else we get into. Just listen to this. So I posted on Instagram and I think I also did a YouTube short of this the other day, but uh, I got some grass seed put down and that meant no doubt that it was going to rain and not only a light rain, but it was going to probably come down with storms. And that's what we've had for the last couple days. But one of the main questions was this mulch down here and what was gonna happen with it. Is it gonna stay in place once you get some rain and all that? So last night I had a chance to finally test that as we got a lot of heavy rain pretty much all at once here. And I'll talk about my weather station coming up too here in this video. That was a good test for the mulch, so let's take a look. So my main concern, I guess you would say, was that I wasn't sure how this was all gonna wash down when we started to get some decent storms because I don't really know what you can tell on, on camera, but there is quite a bit of slope here. So coming down the, all of this hill here, there is quite a bit of slope even through the plots. So I was worried that starting over there, this mulch is all just going to run into a pile. Pretty much like it does over here where it just runs like crazy through this little ditch area. But back to the mulch, I was thinking there's no way with this much slope that this stuff right here isn't just going to start running down. But that was a good test. Actually, I don't see any issues with this right now whatsoever. There's no mulch glue on there. There's a lot of suggestions for that and I may still try that, but I wanted to see what it was gonna look like without it. I also did not put it, you know, super heavy, so there is a lip and a border there for each plot so that it would hopefully hold more of the mulch in in case it did start running, but this was a good test and I don't see any issues. You can see where there was quite a bit of soil running right over here, which means I need to get some more erosion control in that spot. So even though I did get some erosion control stuff here, it looks like it just went underneath it for the most part. And yeah, pretty much full again. It looks like I had the wiring sitting up on top so that hopefully that wouldn't get damaged. It looks like that's probably okay. I'm gonna let that dry out and have to get that all cleaned out again. One other thing I want to look at here with this ryegrass plot, I did an app of Greener G about a week ago, week and a half ago I think it was, and the color is looking really good. The thing that I've adjusted on this this season is that I'm mowing it lower, so I'm mowing it at an inch and a half, whereas last year I think to start off the season maybe about two and a half inches or so, and that's where we ran into a bunch of those stock problems mid-summer, so I'm trying to cut it lower and more consistently this year and see if we can avoid that, because anytime I've cut my low-cut ryegrass, at three quarters of an inch, then I really have not seen much of that seed head problem. So that's what I would want to look at here. So over here I was doing testing on three different methods in terms of no blanket on that little section right there. Then this is one of those netless wood fiber type blankets. And then of course you have the straw back there. So what I noticed was that this one, I seem to see the grass seed pop up first. As I've said before with these, they do a very good job of holding that moisture there and keeping it in putting it right down against the soil layer there. So these are really good. They're just a little more expensive and sometimes harder to find. But now I need to make a choice too whether I wanna pull this up out of here and maybe at the stage where it's gonna be kinda of difficult to get this out of here, but I'd have to see how much damage I would do. But I'd like to see how much grass is kinda of really under here. But they are really made to stay in place and just biodegrade over time. Now that spot right there where I didn't do any blanket, definitely very, very thin. Not a whole lot of grass in there. Plenty of weeds coming in that are going to take advantage of that. So although I was seeing this stuff pop up first, I was a little worried about the straw area that more had washed out than I thought because I wasn't seeing a whole lot of growth coming out of there. But in the last couple days after the rains and after the sunlight has hit these again, I've seen a lot of growth coming back out of this spot. So I think that those work just perfectly too. There's only one little area in here where I knew it was going to wash because of the downspout coming out. And other than that, this whole slope looks like this uh, straw blanket has held on just fine. So I gotta take those straw blankets off of that area soon, but it's too wet to do it right now. More rain coming in the forecast too, so I'll have to time this out and see if I can get those 
and probably reuse them in a spot I'll show you in a second. Out here in tall fescue land, it's coming in in sort of just a bunch of rows because I used that drag and then there was some washout on that first rainstorm. And so there are just some rows of fescue coming in, but I'm actually pretty pleased considering I had no blankets on there, no cover over it at all, how much has come in. Now there's plenty of weeds and other things. Most of that can either be sprayed, some of the other stuff that's grassy weeds I may have to spray out. We'll see, but this is probably gonna need an overseed definitely for the fall, but I give it a little time now just to decide what it's looking like and how much grass is actually gonna be there and start to mature. Same thing was kinda happening on this side with these blankets. I wasn't seeing a whole lot of growth, wasn't seeing much happening, and then in the last couple days, it's really started to take off. So this area over here where you see the garden hose hooked up to that hydrant there, we're gonna start our landscape and it's gonna come over past that hydrant just a little ways, but there's an area kinda out there in no man's land that yeah, right now I tried to seed in the last couple days just because it looked like it was gonna rain, but you you never know how much you don't know whether it's going to be a storm like we've had or whether I can get some actual rainfall on it and start something growing over there so I was going to extend the ryegrass out into there I seeded that and you can see a whole bunch of piles of seed just laying there as that pretty much just washed out around there so that's where I think I'm going to move my blankets to once I take those off those other areas probably out onto the side of that hill and then down through here and see if we can get some weather that doesn't wash things out and holds that. And with those straw blankets, holds it a lot better in place. We will also be working on our landscape here out front very soon. Kelsey has a plan for what she wants to do with all this. And before all these weeds start to take over everything, we need to get working on that, but it needs to dry out a little more. Here, we have the main stage and it is looking fantastic. It's getting better and better by the day. I actually have not mowed yet. I was anticipating that I was gonna mow a lot sooner, but what's happened in the last few days that I've noticed is I've been seeing a lot more of the energy going into the root development instead of shooting out a whole bunch of top growth, which is good. I will need to start mowing it soon and I wanna make sure to get the plant going and start that consistent mowing, which helps it to start to tiller out lower too. But I've noticed in the last few days and I've taken a little closer inspection when it wasn't wet out there. A lot of the plants are now to the two leaf stage, which simply means they're starting to send out those shoots and it will start to mature a lot faster. So once this dries out though, in the next couple days, I will get a mow on it and then be very consistent with keeping up with that as we get it to mature. I'm gonna start with some equalizer on here very soon too. Not a lot of push of growth, but I want to get nutrients going on it consistently as I start to mow. Over the winter time, I received an email and asked if I wanted to try out one of these weather stations. So they sent me one of these to try out. No obligations whatsoever on making content or having to do a video on anything like that. I don't work with any companies who dictate exactly what content I have to make, how I need to make it, and that's the way that I've always done it and that's the way I plan to continue. So I've had this thing up now for three or four weeks. I have it over on the edge of our property, which is a big open spot, which is a good spot to get good wind readings, nothing blocking it in terms of rainfall or any of that stuff. So I feel like this is a pretty good accurate spot for it. So I've been nerding out on this thing though and my wife will tell you that ever since I got it, I've been checking it way too many times a day and looking at things like when it rains, how fast is the rainfall coming down, looking at things like the dew point, how much humidity do we have in the air and having a better idea of what's going on specifically at your property in terms of those things is very beneficial and I've found it even in the last few weeks to be extremely beneficial for me to see what I'm seeing with my eyes but have that data to back it up in terms of drying out in terms of wind speed in terms of the temperature and looking at all those things so those are just a couple of the features that I love about it but there's a really nice app that goes with it gets all of your data in here you have a history of all the data and I use this all the time now to look at things and last night when it was raining like crazy I was looking at how intense that was coming down and I knew that I was probably gonna have some washout because of what I was seeing on there. But I just wanted to mention that you're probably gonna see it in videos and you're probably gonna see it in the background shots now um, coming up here on the front yard for sure. So before everybody asks me what it is, I wanted to share that today and let you know that I have really, really enjoyed this thing over the past few weeks and it's something that I look forward to using for a long time to come. So as I said, first mow is coming up, just need to let things dry out, but I'm trying to keep things in real time I'm here as much as I can for those of you who are following along or, or have a similar process going on. I wanted to try to keep my videos here this season as much as real time as I possibly can. So that's just an update today on all the things going on. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.